is Maritime Radio. Hi, this is Heather Hayward from The Cool Notes, and you're listening to Maritime Radio, Soul in the City with Clive R. To dream the impossible dream To fight the unbeatable foe To bear with unbearable sorrow And to run where the brave dare not go From the uh, Hesitation Songbook in Rhythm and Blues terms, The Impossible Dream. From the voice there of Sydney Christmas. Sydney recently the winner of Britain's Got Talent and I had a chance to uh, have a quick Zoom interview with Sydney just the other day and uh, this is the result of the session. Hi Sid, can I call you Sid? Yeah, of course, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you, are very punctual. I was told you were running late but obviously not. Yeah, no, we're we're right on time now. We've caught back up. Good girl, well done, well done. Well, Kentish girl talking to Kentish boy here, yeah? so this is sort yeah. of hometown stuff. Yeah, lovely to talk with you, Sydney, I uh, said. Um, your right. record, I have to say, uh, you have amazing pitch, uh, power and tone in your voice. Uh, what, who were you listening to when you were growing up to actually develop a uh, style like that? So, I'm quite an old soul. Um, I... Was I was obsessed with Elvis? Like I loved Elvis. Um, Frank Sinatra. I Doris Day. Um, loved Doris Day. Judy Garland, Barbara Streisand. Um, there were so many. I, I am quite the old soul. <laughs> <laughs> And speaking of soul, I'm representing a soul soul program here. Uh, your music tends to be more uh, show or theatre orientated, from what I gather from the album, Sid. Uh, but you must have some subliminal soul influence there somewhere, like Aretha Franklin, oh, Aretha James. Goodness, yes, I am an old school old school soul and funk uh, lover. Have you ever heard of Caster Soul Weekend? Indeed, I have. Yeah. I've the first time I went I was eighteen. <laughs> ah. So um yeah, I am a like Margate Soul Festival, I am there. I'm a big soul lover. Um Aretha Franklin, yes. Oh, Etta James all all of the soul, all of the jazz. There's oh, there's so many. There, There is so many, but big soul, big soul heart, for sure. Yeah, that's good. I'm guessing these names don't come up very much in interviews since you won BGT. <laughs> well, they do ask. They ask and then I tell them. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Love, love the man.
Back to the conversation with Sydney. Okay, so uh, with the album, were you recording with an orchestra in the studio or were you talk- singing over band tracks or how did that work out? I was really lucky, really lucky enough to go to Prague and record with the live orchestra, which was a beautiful experience. You, ser- you seriously cannot be a live orchestra. It was magical. Very blessed indeed to have done uh- that. And it comes through because you obviously interact with the, with the orchestra as well, Sid, so you're not actually singing to a tape. You've got the musicians there. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. Like an out-of-body experience, for sure, when I was sitting there with... There was loads of them. It was beautiful. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I've been prompted to ask you, obviously the album was released on, on Friday, uh, seeing the pictures of you... F- f- holding your own first finished copy it must have been a lifetime revelation Sid and it's something that I never expected for me that you, you know there's some things you just don't think are written for you but the, when I held that very emotional uh, surreal moment for sure I, I yeah. took it I won't forget that on the music you you you've got obviously training almost of a classical style as well as the the, the pop and soul things. Uh, did you have any formal training? Yes, I went to college um, in Downham. I went to college um, for about three years. I did a musical theatre course. Okay, yeah. And then I don't stop training, like even now, like. Even before then, whenever I could get my hand on a singing lesson, I'm doing that. You need to definitely need to practice your craft. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Well, practice with the Great Orchestra, Sydney Christmas, and. <laughs> Soulful version of Over the Rainbow.
snippet of Sydney Christmas and over the rainbow, a superb song, soulfully sung. And I'm guessing the cruise ships was obviously a good experience of t- dealing with people live and first hand. It was <laughs> cruise ships was a great experience. It was uh, exactly what I needed at the time. Um, I was very young, um, lived the most amazing life on the ship, and performing every day, singing and. That's ex- and travelling the world at the same time. What what more could you have asked? That's a good foundation I, for you. Yeah, de- definitely. It was my first job, so it, it taught me a lot. I know people to this day that when was the last time I was on a cruise ship? Seven years ago. Um, that haven't left since. People just love it, and then they just stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Now, with my way, it's a song most people are familiar with. Uh, the interpretation is definitely a Sid Christmas ver- uh, interpretation, rather than a Paul Anker or a Frank Sinatra, despite your influences. And of course, you do the odd thing, you go up a key in the last note rather than going down a key. How did that come about? <laughs> um, trial and error. It's creative process. Um and you need creative space. You, you need time. So I had about five weeks from my audition, or when I I realised what I wanted to do. But when when my audition came out in April, I had about five weeks before the live show. That's when I went into proper full time practice for my way. So then we figured we figured it out um, and created new things for the for the song. It was amazing. It was a lovely process, and it was how my way is today <laughs> I know the end is near and so I face the final curtain my friends I say clear I'll state my case of which I'm certain I've lived a life that's full I've travelled each and every highway But more, much more than this I did it my way Yes, there Yeah, how she goes up in the last note rather than down like most do. Sydney Christmas and her unique interpretation of My Way. I see. I'm included in soul shows now, Sid, so that shows how you cross all sorts of barriers with the song and the performance. Uh, I equate it... Have you heard of Lorraine Ellison from The Soul World? 
I have, yeah. Well, I just put it in the same bag as Stay With Me by Lorraine Ellison, that really powerful orchestral dynamic performance that you've really matched there, Sid. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, and you've got a tour coming up in, in the new year. I'm down to hopefully be going to see you somewhere in central London. So uh, uh, preparation for that going well? Yes, well, we haven't started with the tour yet, but I have firm ideas of what I want to do and the message that I want to get out and all things tour. So we, when it comes to sitting down, at least I've got a foundation in my mind of what I want to do. Yeah, and do you choose your own set list or have you got a producer or a manager that chooses your set list with you? Um, I'll choose. I'll definitely have help. If I'm very, if I'm unsure, I'll have people to turn to. But um, I think the set list will be quite easy for me because I want to tell my story and there's so many songs that are uh, that go in with that. It's just, I think, like narrowing them down to exactly what I want to say. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, did you use a similar process for choosing tracks for the album and set, then, Sid? Well, the album was, was a little bit more difficult because there is so many songs that I had to narrow them down to, I suppose, a few. The BGT songs had to be on there, of course. Um, so then it really narrowed it down to about five or four, four that I needed on there because I, I wanted the Christmas songs on there. So then I had about four to play with to figure out what I wanted. The influence of Lorraine Ellison and Stay With Me. Here's the song.
Produced by Jerry Ragavoy, sung by Lorraine Ellison, whose pitch and tone and range matched by Sydney Christmas there. Lorraine Ellison, stay with me from Loba. These messages and back to the final segment of the chat. <laughs> This is Maritime Radio. Small vans, large vans, electric vans. HTC Van Centre's professional van range has just what you need. Worried about ULEZ? Check out our range of electric vans in all sizes. With finance available, we won't be beaten on price. And with exceptional customer service and locations throughout the southeast, see how we can help your business at htcvancentre.co.uk. Or call 0344 891 0000. The first Saturday of every month, 11 until 4. Experience everything that's fun and unique about the vibrant Signet Square Market on the border of Thamesmead and Abbeywood. With an exciting mix of local and national vendors, market traders and a choice of delicious street food. Signet Square Market also hosts games and activities for adults and children. Plus music, entertainment and so much more. Find out more, register for the latest updates, including free treats for the kids, and get details about becoming a market trader at signetsquaremarket.com. The skies of South East London light up this November. Dance and Park Fireworks are back. The biggest charitable display in the South East returns on Saturday, 2nd of November. For thrill seekers, there's a huge fun fair and enjoy plenty of food and drink, plus entertainment for Maritime Radio. Gates open at 5pm and the display starts at 8. Leave the car at home and get your tickets now at skiddle.com. Everyone at Dance and Park Fireworks. This is Maritime Radio. of a previous single by Sydney Chris's One Night Over. Back to the chat with Sydney. Uh, so, uh, on, on the question of the album and artistic stuff, um, uh, do you, you, you still working with the voice coach or how do you develop your vocal talent even further? I have a routine that I do to keep up my vocal strength, the agility. Um, it's a muscle. It needs to be worked. It's like anything. And it's practice. But... Um, I will be booking Annabelle, which is my vocal coach, um, Annabelle Williams, her name is. I will be booking whenever I've got a really big event coming and I will, for the tour, 100%, I will be like, help me. She's <laughs> 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 a goddess within the voice. So, yeah, I 100% still be doing my vocal lessons for sure. <laughs> Okay, uh, I've seen mixed comments about talent shows and the background of talent shows from various artists. You've clearly had a good experience, Sid, and it's something you recommend to others to, to try, or would you be a bit wary about how people go into talent shows? I don't. I, th- I think I wish I would have done it. I don't wish I would have done it sooner because I feel like everything that's meant for you won't pass you by, and if it was your time, it's your time. Um, but I would say... If you can get yourself on a platform, if you want to work in whatever pro- profession that you 
want to be in there is so many platforms for everything get yourself on a platform um it just gives you more opportunity and more work which is why we all have dreams at the end of the day isn't it well that's right you're an entertainer to entertain and to go out there to as many platforms as you can get on there's many tv shows i've seen numerous clips of tv shows i've never never watched online you've been a busy lady over the last few weeks yeah <laughs> to say the least I'm very lucky but that's all i ever wanted i just wanted to work hard and just and work that's all i wanted really. yeah Sydney Christmas from a couple of years ago, one nine over. Last segment of the conversation with Sydney. And you've got a good family back in as well, from what I've read. Oh, yes, my family are very supportive. They they wanted my dream for me as much as I did. So um, there was no chance of giving up, even when you feel deflated throughout the years, because it's not easy, it's very difficult. And my family was driven behind me, was like, no. Get up again, keep going. So I'm very blessed for that because I, I understand not everyone has that. So I'm very uh, lucky. Yeah. And I've seen some clips where you were saying about that the, the, the mental process is also very you, very, you develop a very durable mental process in this as well. You've got to keep yourself up all the time to a degree. Hmm. A, a what process? A mental process. Mental. Mental. Yeah. Oh, mental. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Because people people have an opinion, especially during the BGT process. Um, even now, people say some nasty things, but it is what it is. Just just build up a wall and carry on. Life's too short to worry about who you upset um, when you don't mean to upset. Yeah. When it, yeah. You know what I mean? You know, all I can control is how I deal with it, not, not what they're saying and doing. So... That's right. And in the end of the day, you said you do it your way or my way, as the record says. There you go, mate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, thanks for your time. Have a great tour and maybe we'll meet you in person one of these days, Sid. Oh, I hope so, Clive. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Take care. Take care, mate. Bye. Mr. James, influence on Sydney Christmas, tell Mama.
You know, I'd never realised how pronounced those baritone riffs were at the end of Tell Mama there, Etta James, with one of her influences on the uh, young and emergent uh, Sydney Christmas, from whom we've been hearing over the last 20 minutes or so, Sydney Christmas, who was winner of Britain's Got Talent on TV, and now a major force in music, getting everywhere. The album out is My Way, which is doing very well, top of the various download charts, and a tour starting in uh, November, December, taking her around a lot of the UK. Sydney Christmas, thank you for your time, and thanks to uh, to Jonathan and Steve at Tandy for setting it up for me as well. Back to the chart of this week, back in 1962. Where to now? Number six on the charts. Three weeks in, stormy up the charts, very fittingly titled Stormy Monday. Bobby Bland. They call it Stormy Monday. But Tuesday's just as bad.
Preacher with the guitar of Wayne Bennett, who I believe is still alive. Well, his family is certainly still alive on social media. Bobby Bland, recorded out of Duke Records in Houston, Texas, Stormy Monday from the T-Bone Walker songbook of that, 1948, I do believe, originally. There, number six on the charts this week, back in 1962. Number seven, back to Detroit, Michigan. Ninth weekend, Marvelettes, the bluesy quartet from Motown. Beachwood, four, five, seven, eight, nine. That's their phone number. You can give me a ring any old time. <laughs> Beachwood 45789 from Detroit, Michigan by the Marvelettes and by coincidence or otherwise, Wilson Pickett had a, a, a song with a phone number as well. Do you remember? 6345789. So whoever had 45789 as their phone number in Detroit or um, uh, or New York where Pickett cut his song uh, might have got a long, lot of uh, wrong numbers or unusual calls. Beachwood 45789. Marvelettes at 7 on the charts, number 8. Similar style of music. A girl singer again, Claudine Clark. Lights, I see those party lights. lights, Chancellor the records out of Philadelphia. Claudine Clark.
Cordy and Clark, number eight on the Rhythm and Blues charts, the soul chart this week, back in 1962, and my lights, I see those party lights. These messages, Clive are in Soul City on Thursday evening, and back with a record which is uh, kind of right for this time of year. This is Maritime Radio. With the change of seasons, it's always good to have a hearty cuppa. Whether at home, work or out and about, a cup of Drury's finest tea or coffee will bring you that warm, comforting feeling. Drury's a family-run business that's been expertly blending specialist tea and coffee since 1936. Local residents that use Drury Tea and Coffee's click-and-collect service from their Royal Arsenal premises automatically qualify for a discount. What's not to love about a heartwarming brew from Drury Tea and Coffee? Find out more at shopdrury.com. Maritime Radio, Community Line. Here's a question for you. How long have you been coping alone, worrying about your memory or your dementia diagnosis, or struggling to care for a loved one who's been diagnosed? How many nights sleep have you lost? At Bexley Dementia Support Services, we're here to help. You are not alone. Talk to someone who understands what you're going through. Someone who can answer your questions and give you the support that you need. You're in safe hands with experts who can get you the vital help you need right now. Whether that's practical support at home, additional benefits or information on local support groups here in Bexley. Call us today on 0333 150 3456 or visit alzheimers.org.uk. At Alzheimer's Society, we're here to give help and hope to everyone affected by dementia. Local radio for Greenwich. Maritime Radio. Community Line. From Woolwich to Welling. Always with you. On 96.5 FM, online and here. Play Maritime Radio. We are Maritime Radio. Hi, this is Heather Hayward from The Cool Nuts. Check out Clive R on Maritime Radio. Soul in the City. <laughs> and Monster Mash, I mentioned time of the year because Halloween will be approaching in a couple of weeks' time. Not that I'm any fan of that, but there you go. That's all part of the world of music and entertainment. Monster Mash, Bobby Pickett. Number 10 on the Rhythm and Blues chart this week back in 1962. Number 11, the uh, track following this is also uh, adjacent to the Rhythm and Blues and Soul. Fourth weekend, but this is about another one which is actually the album it's from. is called These Ghoulish Things. It's the death record from those years ago and some of us used to collect morbid type tracks for like this Dicky Lee and Patches. Down by the river that flows by the courtyards stand wooden houses with shutters torn down. There lives a girl everybody calls Patches. My darling of ocean town, we planned to marry when June brought the summer. I couldn't wait to make patches my bride. Now Says a girl 
never played that record all the way through before. I didn't realise he was going to commit suicide in the end as well to join the girl that killed herself I would not be able to see him. Ah, oh, wow. That's an entertaining record for a Thursday. <laughs> Dickie Lee on Smash Records. Patches up from last week's 16 to this week's 11 in the Rhythm and Blues chart this week back in 1962. Let's lighten the mood a bit, shall we? Don Garner, D.D. Ford out of New York for the Harlem nightclub scene. <laughs> Don't you worry Don't you worry is the title Don't you worry Don Gardner, D.D. Ford Stop your worrying Daddy don't want you to worry Gardner and Diddy Ford. Whoa, 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 whoa. He, the main singer, she, the accompanist and drummer with the band. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. Fire Rick was out of Harlem, New York this week, back in 1962, sitting at number 11, 12 on the Rhythm and Blues charts. One more before the top of the hour. This one also adjacent to Rhythm and Blues, but it's a record that I bought when I was younger. <laughs> and I've still got it in the collection somewhere. Ninth week on the chart. Rhythm and Blues hit in the R&B market. It's number 13 on the charts for Tommy Rowe. <laughs> Sheila. Sweet little Sheila, you'll know her if you see her. Blue eyes and a ponytail. Her cheeks are rosy, she looks a little nosy. Never knew a girl like a little Sheila Her name drives me insane Sweet little girl, that's my little Sheila Man, this little girl is fine Me and Sheila go for a ride Oh, 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 I feel a funny inside Then little Sheila whispers in my ear Oh, 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 I love you Sheila dear Sheila said she loved me, she said she'd never leave me True love will never die We're so doggone happy just being around together Man, this little girl is fine Never knew a girl like a little Sheila Her name drives me insane Sheila, that's my little she 
Tommy Rowe and Sheila, number 13 on the Rhythm and Blue Shards this week, back in 1962. Clive R here in Soul City on a Thursday evening. That was a hit in the R&B market because it kind of followed the pattern of Buddy Holly and the Crickets with uh, uh, Ray Vaughan and Peggy Sue with a sort of double-time drumming pattern that that guy had there. And uh, Tommy Rowe's voice sort of, yeah, sort of in, in the vein of Buddy Holly's hiccup in the Lubbock, Texas style there. Uh, Tommy Rowe and Sheila... Upcoming are the, uh, some messages and the news at the top of the hour. After the top of the hour, we're going to pay tribute to Matthew Long, the young man who was the uh, guitarist and vocalist with the, with the um, Catfish Blues Band, who uh, was fighting long and hard against cancer and lost his battle last Monday. He's just 27 years, so a tribute to Matt Long and Catfish in just a moment. These messages, however, first, as you're tuned with Maritime Radio, 96.5 FM in the local area and to the world, either streaming from maritimeradio.co.uk or on your mobile device. Download the app from either the uh, App Store or Play Store for Apple and uh, iPhone and Android. Okay, where to now? Press this button, messages and news. This is Maritime Radio. Fine fragrance.